Uh, right, um, it's time to dish out our first ever Virgin Radio uh, Gold Award for audio content. Um, if you are going to listen to a podcast uh, for half an hour, now, obviously, I have my faves. Um, Rich Roll is up there. Tim Ferriss is up there. Um, the Knowledge Project with Shane Parrish is up there. And uh, many, many more. Uh, Greg McEwen is up there um, with his Essentialism podcast, what, what is Essential. But I have to say, in with a bullet, and I talked about it before over the last couple of weeks, we had her on the show a couple of weeks ago, Dr. Katie Milkman. She is amazing. Her podcast, Choiceology, is the best half hour of audio content you can listen to anywhere on the planet. Radio 4 are brilliant at what they do. One of my favorite shows on Radio 4 is The Food Show. Um, it's on Saturday lunchtimes and they'll pick a subject, a food, and they'll just go deep into that food for half an hour. They'll pick something to do with food. They picked the fork one day, I remember, and they did half an hour on the fork. It was brilliant. <laughs> they picked licorice one day. They did half an hour on licorice. Just awesome. You know, when you really get the, the minutiae of us, because there is an epic in every single particle of life. Not atom, not molecule, not cell. They're a franchise of particles. They're the, they're the franchise version of, of the particle. But in every particle, there is an epic of a tale. And Choiceology um, is, is Dr. Katie's podcast. It is, it's half, they're half an hour each, give or take. And if you start listening to Choiceology, it will change your life forever. And they are so beautifully put together. Why not keep banging on about it? Well, because she starts her podcast like this. Picture the classic scene from Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Luke Skywalker is training in the humid swamps of the planet Dagobah with Yoda, the tiny, green, 900-year-old Jedi Master. As the scene unfolds, Yoda offers several pearls of Jedi wisdom to Luke. He prods Luke to clear his mind of questions, tells him that he must unlearn what he has learned, that he must do or do not, there is no try. Sure, some of the advice is vague and grammatically problematic, and Luke seems reluctant to follow every suggestion. But I want to pose a question that you might not be expecting. What does Yoda get out of this arrangement? Brilliant! What does Yoda get out of this arrangement? That's how she starts this podcast. And they all start with a story and a subject of a story and a person's own anecdotal experience of something that is going to be very, very, very useful to you um, by the end of the half hour episode. So that's how she starts that podcast. What does that podcast end up being about? It ends up being about a drum teacher, right? Because he's the Yoda. She, she finds this guy. She locates, she tracks down this guy who is the Yoda of drum teaching, right? Okay. And she says at the end of the intro there, what does Yoda get out of this? Well, for Yoda, see the drum teacher. So let's go and see what the drum teacher gets out of this. And this genius drum teacher, his name is Mike Mangini. He unknowingly spent 25 years teaching kids the drums, all right? And there's that, there's that, that great cone that... Um, the teacher will appear when the student is ready. Okay. But what Mike's story tells you is that the right students will appear when the teacher is ready. Because what happens if you teach something extraordinarily well to other people, you are ultimately teaching yourself. And so what happens is Mike's a teacher, a drum teacher. He's a brilliant, brilliant drummer and he's a brilliant, brilliant teacher. And then one day, uh, an opportunity opens up for him to audition for this prog rec, uh, pro prog progressive rock um, beer moth, this, this sort of weather bomb of, of, of the rock world called Dream Theatre. Now, you probably haven't heard of Dream Theatre. I, I hadn't. But Dream Th Theatre, this, this phenomenon in the rock world, they are, if they book a stadium, it sells out before tickets go on sale. 80,000 people, 100,000 people, 120,000 people. And their drummer left and they had space for a drummer. And he went along and auditioned for this. For, to, to be a drummer, to be the drummer in Dream Theater, and he got the job. And he got the job because he suddenly realized in the audition, oh my goodness me, the last 25 years have been about teaching myself, not about teaching my students. And here's his reaction to being offered the job after the audition. And that's what's in it for Yoda. So I, I was at my home in a suburb of Boston, and I got the phone call telling me that I got the Dream Theater job. I actually was looking out the window at downtown Boston, and what struck me 
the most deeply, believe it or not, was that I realized that I was not going to have to sit in that God forsaken traffic every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Because I love my job at Berkeley, I got to tell you, but I cried. I was not able to speak coherently. Oh my gosh, my children, they're going to be able to go to this, this, this school I want to send them to. I'll be able to afford that now. My family, my parents, my sister and my brother are going to be so happy for me. If I had not created the grid system the way that I did, I am not sure that I would have been chosen as the new drummer for Dream Theater because so many things in, in, in a high stress situation can prevent a person from thinking straight. That the one thing I had going in there was a system of thinking straight. Listen to these drums! So if you're a teacher, if you're a Yoda, um, God bless you. And now you may have an idea, if you didn't before, uh, why you do what you do and why you, you love and it's so much and are so passionate about it. Well done. The Chris That's Evans off. Breakfast Show with Sky VIP, getting you back Hope out. Hope you get your call soon. Amazing experiences this spring. <laughs> From your dream theatre. It's 833 DAB in ours. Radio, on the app and on your smart speaker, this is Virgin Radio.